Uh, my father, my mom and dad had me when they were very young. They were 19, beginning university, okay. second, second year at university. And my father then went off and became a biologist. So when I was three, he started his PhD. And so I um, sort of grew up with my father doing his science. So from the earliest times I can remember, I didn't want to be a policeman, I didn't want to be a fireman, I wanted to be a scientist. Because I saw that, I really liked what my dad did. So I didn't know what type of scientist I wanted to be, and by the time I was about seven or eight, I decided I wanted to be a meteorologist, so someone who studies the weather. And I was pretty stuck on that all the way through high school. And then in 11th grade, was, let me just uh, give a little background before I go there. I liked astronomy, and I was, I thought, I started thinking about astronomy in 1975, so I would have been eight, when Comet West, which was a very bright comet, came around, and I saw it, and I sort of started thinking about the sky. And my parents bought me a little cheap telescope, so I was interested. And then we had a total solar eclipse go through where I lived, and um, the teacher, my sixth grade teacher, didn't know too much about astronomy. She was a good teacher, and she said, well, you're really into this, so I taught the sixth grade class all about astronomy that year. Um, so I was into astronomy, but I never thought of it as being practical or something I would ever do myself. And so I went out in a year 11, I worked, volunteered at the National Weather Service up in Anchorage, Alaska, where I grew up. And it wasn't what I was expecting. I always thought I was going to go and do meteorology. And the science within the National Weather Service was all done down in Oklahoma City, 5,000 miles away. And in this office where I always figured I would end up working, there was almost, there was very little science done as I thought of. So suddenly, 10 years worth of dreams, I just suddenly said, this is what I want to do. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. And so I literally did astronomy because I didn't know what else to do. And I never thought I would become an astronomer for life. I figured I would never be able to get a job and I would just get a job doing something else using the skills I learned in astronomy. And that turned out to be probably a pretty good way of thinking about things. Even though that's not what turned out, that's a very sensible way to go forward when you do astronomy. Okay, thank yeah. you. So, a brain stolen to meteorology. <laughs> <laughs>